Welcome back, Truth Seeker. Sunday, August 20th, 2023, it was reported that there was a sizable earthquake in Southern California at the same time the region was experiencing flood rains from Hurricane and Tropical Storm Hillary. And again, I want people to think about something we've been harping on about literally for more than a decade the use by the U.S. military and other nations of weapons for the sake of weather warfare. The U.S. government spent the better part of 50 years testing weapons by detonating them below and above ground for experimentation purposes. To see if fault lines could be triggered. To see if storm clouds could be sparked. And... This is not a conspiracy theory. This is something that's a recorded part of U.S. history that anybody can research. Again, the United Nations banned weather warfare in 1977. Jesuit Bill Clinton, like Jesuit Gavin Newsom, Gavin Newsom declared the emergency for Hurricane Hillary on Bill Clinton's 77th birthday. The first act of weather warfare was admitted to in in. August 15th of 52. August 15th is the Jesuit Order's birthday. If you're new here, I'm always talking about the numerical rituals with Jesuits and how you can see that they are using military technology for their own strategic purposes to dupe the people of the world into uh, essentially fables, like a man in a cave took down the towers on 9-11. And blowtorch winds just happened to decimate Lahaina, the old capital, before the Europeans got to Hawaii. And just like this, this sizable earthquake of 5.1, 51 days before Gavin Newsom's October 10th birthday. And again, the quakes right as the substantial rains start to fall. In recent years, we've seen the headlines, bomb cyclone. Look it up. How often do they refer to these storms now as bomb cyclones? How about nuclear Storm. That's another phrase they've started using in recent times. Nuclear storm. Bomb cyclone. Now we got a quake like a bomb went off. As abnormal rains that only come every so often fall. And if you missed the other work we've done on Hurricane Hillary, you got to check it out. But here we are with the 5.1. Remember, 51 days before Gavin Newsom's birthday... The day before was 52 days before on Clinton's birthday when he declared the emergency. And again, hurricane and flood and earth and Enlil are all 52. If you don't know who Enlil is, Babylonian god of flooding, where the practice of gematria, giving numerical values to words, comes from. But in this system, conspiracy equals 51, federal 51, Rome 51, Roman architecture in D.C., the Jesuit stronghold since longer than the feds have been there. And um, one's called Rome on the Potomac, again in Gematria. Rome, federal conspiracy, they all equal 51. Our federal government, you know, makes Area 51 such an interesting place. So many conspiracy theories about Area 51. Is that by accident or design? The Jesuit, Adam Weishaupt, founded the Illuminati on May 1st, 5-1. 5-1. Adam Weishaupt equals 51. Plans to infiltrate education secret societies, specifically Freemasonry, and other things of influence. Again, Jesuits, Illuminati, history, America and the Illuminati both founded in 1776, the Illuminati slightly before, which traces back to the Roman Catholic Church, which wanted to control the Europeans fleeing across the Atlantic to the New World with their New Testaments. But yeah, ground zero, you guys. Look up the history of that word. Look how they're using it in Maui right now. The governor's calling it ground zero. Again, has a lot to do with big bombs in history and sick jokes like Hiroshima getting 86 done, 8-6. Until next time.